one topic that parents often ask about is temperature regulation. When will they be able to hold the baby? Um, how will they regulate their temperature? Uh, a lot of our premature babies, the brain is still immature, and so they're not able to regulate their own body temperature. They require either a radiant warmer or an incubator to help to do that. Uh, we try to get parents involved as early as possible in doing kangaroo care, where they hold the baby very close, skin-to-skin -skin contact. We tuck them in so that the parent's body actually keeps the baby warm while they're being held. Um, they need to be medically stable, you know, not, we don't do that the first day, but hopefully within the first week or so we can start doing that for some of our smaller children. And it allows them to spend more time making contact with the parents while they still need help with temperature regulation. Um, babies' temperature regulation usually gets much better as they get closer to 34 or 35 weeks um, gestation. And at that time they can start to wean out of the isolate to a crib. Because one of the things they have to do to go home is demonstrate that they can regulate their body temperature appropriately in a crib before we let them go. Um, so we will make that a gradual process and then you know, make sure the temperature is normal before they go home. We want the parents to feel comfortable taking care of them in their own house and in a normal um, environment so that they don't have to worry that the baby will be too cold or will be too um, fragile you know, to be managed at home. Uh, so, you know, I think that helps a lot. We do initially, uh, when they first come in, have a temperature probe on the skin so we can leave the baby undressed with the diaper. Uh, we can watch the breathing, we can watch their IV sites and things like that. And when they're very immature, that does a better job of regulating their body temperature. As they start to get healthier and older, we'll start to dress and wrap them and swaddle them inside the incubator gradually turning down the requirements of heat that they have in the incubator until they're kind of doing the job on their own and then they would come out to a crib. So it's a, it's a transition basically from one point to another in terms of uh, the temperature control that the brain is exercising.